G'day everyone, welcome to Exrecite. I'm Chrissy. Just want to make sure that everyone can uh, hear me, so that's one of the main things here. Um, I just wanted to say uh, g'day to Wendy, Gary, Sneaks, Peggy, Lindy, oh, who, oh, let me see, Anne, um, let me see, have I forgotten anyone? I think I've got everyone. Have I got everyone? It looks like I have. Yep. I've got everyone. G'day everyone. Welcome to Extra Sight. I'm Chrissy. Thanks for joining me. The first one for 2019. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm so excited. Um, oh, <laughs> g'day Will. How are you going? Here you're fine. Yeehaw. Wonderful. Wonderful. I noticed that everyone's chatting about, so which is fantastic. Um, okay. Lots of things to talk about. Um, I'm going to talk about a few things today. Um, first of all, um, what I have here is my Ace of Clubs, which is the Earth Ace of Clubs. I just need to reiterate. And this is a part of my illustrated playing card deck of cards. And you know what? I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not quite there yet, but um, I can see the light. It's there. It's there. It sure is. And so... Um, and what I've done is I've uh, the 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 medium that I'm using is pastels, uh, but I'm using all sorts of pastels. I'm using, um, of course, pan pastels, one of my faves. Um, I'm using soft pastels as well. Now this is uh, soft pastels by Sennelier, uh, which they're just awesome pastels. They they're so buttery and soft. And um, and the reason why I've chosen these is because of it, the colours. Okay, I've got um, soft tools. I've got my uh, my makeup brushes that I use. My synthetic brushes. My my eighth of an inch. Um, oh, we can hear you, but everything is pl pretty blurry. Oh, is it really? Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, is it still blurry? Let me see. Is it my internet? I'm not sure. It's pretty clear from here, but let's see how we go. Hang, hang, hang in there, sneaks. Hang in there. Hang in there. Um, okay. Is it still blurry, sneaks? Let me know. Oh, g'day, Shannon. How are you going? Nice, nice to see you, sweetie. Um, oh, hey. Um, I'll, okay. All right. So... Um, and uh, what else am I using? Uh, let me see. I've got more soft pastels actually. And this is by Mount Vision. Um, this is a US, um, a, a US brand. Um, believe you me, like I've actually, you know, like I saw, I try to source as much as, as much as I can and I still have got so much to source and try out. But these are the colors or sorry, the brand that I'm using. Uh, what else have I got? Um, and that's pretty much, oh, oh, hang on, uh, pastel pencils, and I want to talk about, I, Santa has, has bought me some, um, uh, new pastel pencils, they're called Geocondas, now I noticed, Lindy, you were talking about Geocondas, um, I finally have them, Santa has favoured me, <laughs> <laughs> with a set of these and I am extremely privileged. Um g'day oh, is, I thought I saw Jelena. G'day Jelena, I'm on lunch. We have clients here so I cannot have the sound on. Oh that's okay. That's okay. Um um, oh, Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Good morning, Chrissy. I'm so glad I woke up in time to, to watch live 7am here. Oh, look, that's okay. Thank you so much for coming by. So here we go. Geocondas. Okay, so, and I've got all sorts of pastel pencils that I'm using, but these are the ones that I haven't talked about because I haven't had. So I'm actually going to be using these in this project. So, and I've actually had, um, I've been trying these out and they're actually quite vibrant and beautiful to work with actually and um, I also like the feel like I like the feel they feel very they're very close to um, Faber-Castell um, I mean I'll show you a Faber-Castell one. Oh no that's a Geoconda hang on hang on I'm getting there here we go so um, this is um, a Faber-Castell one so you know they're sort of like similar 
similar feel. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to get with the program because I always chat too much and I've um, oh, uh, Lindy says geocondas are absolutely awesome. Wonderful, wonderful. Let me see. Silky, glad you could make it. Hello, hello. Nice, nice of you to pop by. Nice of you to pop by. Very nice. Have I missed anyone? I think that's it. All right, here we go. Okay, now just to explain, this is the Earth Ace of um, Earth Ace of Clubs. Okay, now what I've done is I've used masking film, which is like the best thing since sliced bread. And what I wanted to do, I've actually been looking at this for about an hour or two. And I was thinking um, where I should start first. But I will start with the clubs bit. And I know that I'm not going to get very far. Oh, um, oh, Peggy, Peggy, hello, Peggy. So sorry, so sorry you came in earlier. Um, nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for popping by. Okay, so um, okay, masking field. But what I decided to do, I've actually cut through certain areas. So what I'm thinking, this is my thinking. Okay, so thinking from the background moving to the foreground and because this area here is going to be like uh, there's going to be bush and like greenery here I would like that to overlap a little bit on the clubs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this area here and I'm going to lift the um, this area here the clubs part and I've actually cut little bits and pieces which I want um, some fine fine work going here so I'd like to be able to just uh, use the pastel on top without affecting this so um, so here we go so what are, oh I, of course and the blades that I use um, it's really just an exacto knife but I, I know this is a bit overkill but about every second project I actually I replaced the blade and the reason why I replaced the blade is because I don't want to put pressure on the paper and I just want to be able to um, lightly cut the paper without affecting the surface uh, I just want to oh g'day Paulo how are you going nice to see you um, uh, these pencils are on my wish list says Silky yes um, yes I haven't seen them in Australia, so so you might have to go looking elsewhere, I think. Um, okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to um, I'm going to take off the area that I want to um, just the clubs area, not all of these little fancy little details. So just bear with me. Here we go. And you know what? I love this feeling. I, I love it when it just... Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Can I get it more excited about masking film? And this masking film is... Um, the one that I use is called Express It. Sorry, that's the, that's the brand. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on a sec. Here we go. Hi Chrissy, okay, okay. They sell them on eBay. Lindy got them there too, yes. And you can they're also available uh, from um, Jackson's in the UK. So that's another place to oh hang on a sec. I don't think I've cut this. Okay, hang on, just bear with me. So I'm just concentrating, making sure. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. Look, I love this part. Oh, Brenda! G'day, Brenda! G'day, mate! How are you going? She's talking to Australian folks. That's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
love having you chatting background while I work okay wonderful um, all right so um, okay I think I'm gonna need my blade again I just maybe I've just missed a few bits cutting here here we go and can can I just can I just say that mask and, and I talk about it a lot I know I talk about it a lot and I'm not going to stop talking about it because I know that um, like our family group here would know all about the masking film but this is for the people that don't um, that don't know um, that don't know about the masking film and that's why I keep on talking about it so I, I don't want to sound like a broken record but um, I just want to say that this is like one of the best things that um, that I that I have discovered and not discovered uh, Will from Unmask Art was the one that actually told me about this and I know I've said it a, a million uh, you know 50 million times but I've just got to say it again so um, for all of those uh, for all of those people who don't know who Will is uh, Will is from Unmask Art also has a Patreon channel and well worth um, checking out uh, if you want to learn stuff um, there I mean and of course there are so many people here that have got YouTube channels you know I could sit here and plug everyone uh, people like uh, for example Wendy has a, a patreon channel uh, uh, great stuff great stuff to learn there as well um, people have got YouTube channels like fine art Anne has got um, a YouTube channel um, you should check out there um, hello shiny Shannon uh, Shannon's got a YouTube channel um, this is all wonderful everyone's got some wonderful stuff to uh, to you know like work to present which is wonderful it's a great way um, to to learn stuff so you know feel free to have a look and um, check out all of their channels as well you know oh gosh now hang on I'm trying to I'm trying to concentrate and oh, hang on, nearly there. Just let me cut this off. A, ooh, okay, hang on, didn't mean to do that. I think I've cut something that I shouldn't have. Hang on, hang on, hang on, let me put this back on. I need to put this back on. Here we go. That's it. See? And this is the brilliant thing about um oh g'day Barbara, how you going? Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um uh, uh Heidi says, I love geocondas. Thinking of getting credit color. Uh have you tried them? No, I haven't tried them. Um, but now you're gonna make me think about trying those as well. Um, hey Chrissy, does that does that masking film come in a roll or sheets? It comes in both uh, roll and sheets by Express It. Um, uh, Eckersley's is where I purchased that, and that's uh, that's an Australian um, art shop here, which and I think that you can actually also buy those uh, by Express It from uh, Amazon. I believe you can. I think Wendy. You bought yours, I think, from our conversations, if I can remember correctly. I think you bought yours from Amazon, and I think you bought yours on a roll, actually, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, but yes, I bought mine from my local art shop, which is um, uh, in Newcastle. And I, yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, my goodness. Hang on a sec. I've just got to concentrate here. And it's because I haven't cut certain things and I'm rushing. I shouldn't rush. I've got to be careful of the blade. Um, got to go to lunch time. Uh, got to go uh, lunch time with people. Okay, I'll see you later. Perhaps maybe Paulo, if you, you know, if you finish lunch, pop by again. Um, 
Okay. I'll just make sure that I haven't missed anything. Uh, uh, Gary says, is the Geoconda 48 the largest size? I believe it is. I believe it is. Um, and I'm told that they're very, and well, they're vibrant. Well, I'm telling you that they're vibrant because I've actually played with them a little bit. So, um, but I'll be using them in um, in a huge way in this in this project. Okay, so I think I'm happy here. All right. Okay. All right. Masking film off. And this is my this is my best part. Like oh. This is the best part. The fact that I can actually do this kind of thing without having to worry about halos and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, hello. G'day, coffee cat. How you going? Nice to see you. How are you? I am fine. I am pumped. I am huge pumped, pumped. Um, ha um let me see. Um, Silky says, how are they compared to the Brunzil? Ah, uh, very good question, Silky. Very good question. And you know that I love my Brunzils. So now I've got, now there's another pastel pencil to the mix. So I'm actually going to see how that's going. And you know what? I think it's even Stevens. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a term which we say here in, in Australia, but even Stevens. Oh, g'day, Jeff. How are you going? Nice to see you, mate. Um, all the way from WA. Um, uh, lucky girl. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm going to keep on going. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with raw umber, extra dark. And the reason why I want to do that is because... I'm going to start off with the darks mm -hmm. and I'm going to build up with my lights. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, uh, thanks everyone for all your input on credit color. Okay. I didn't know that credit color made um, pastel pencils. That's interesting. I must actually look into that as well. Cause you know what? I, I love, I love trying new things. So anyway, so, and the tool that I'm using, Okay, um, I'm using um, just a, a makeup brush because I want to lightly layer this. Now the reason why I want to lay, uh, lightly layer this is because I want to uh, protect my surface, which I don't really need to protect too much because pastel matte is like Superman, honestly. The Superman of uh, pastel paper. Now, I know that people will probably go, oh my gosh, you know, there's other papers. Yes, I know that there's other papers. But this paper just, um, with the techniques that I use, has has forgiven me for all my mistakes and all of that. Um, Shannon says, uh, you'd like credit colour. Oh, okay. G'day, Marion. Hello. How are you going? Nice to see you. Um, uh, good evening, Chrissy. Um, hi, everyone. Happy New Year, Chrissy. I got a set of 20 paint pen pastels for my birthday. Oh, you little beauty. Which ones were they? I would like to know. Which set? Was it a set? Because I know that they've got landscape sets. They've got um, portrait sets. Uh, be interesting to see, or you know, to see which uh, which set you've got. And of course, you know that you can buy these individually. So, so um, uh, pastel mat is so good; it makes the existence of other papers irrelevant. Absolutely, will I totally agree? You know what? You know what? I so agree with you there. <laughs> uh, you could use color pencil on this. You could use a wash on this. You could use water on this. I mean, uh, the list goes on. The list goes on. So, okay, here we go. Now, this is a bit of a slow process, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, and the way this brush application is it's very slow but it allows me a lot of control and I do have it, it allows me to layer 
that's what it does the most and control and mind you this is my second raw umber extra dark you can imagine how much I use this I use this a lot uh, let me see um, and says check out Jason's review of pastel pencils he too doesn't give too much credit for those pastel pencils from credit color okay well that's interesting um, it was the paint set says Marion okay great okay that's like the basic color one I'm pretty sure that that's what it is um, uh, I totally agree about pastel mat and here I am working on mitante actually that's how that's how you say it folks mitante I've been reprimanded for saying mitentes okay that's why I'm saying that uh, mitante is how you say it. as we speak oh my goodness oh okay um uh, Wendy says wait we are 20 minutes in and Chris and extra sun has already started working <laughs> what <laughs> well, that's right what I know you know you know you know miracles do happen I'm actually doing stuff I'm actually doing stuff <laughs> uh, Delina says my son eight years our Santa for pastels he got a set of 64 half sticks and a pad of pastel mat he said now I know why you love them so much mum I'm loving it too oh my goodness your son at eight years old doing all of this this is wonderful oh my gosh Oh, Jelena, you're going to have to show me um, some of his artwork. Please email me. Please, please, please. Um, okay. Now, there's a few things. Uh, well, there's a few things I want actually to talk about. Uh, first of all, my cards, which I'm actually very excited about. Um, I have been working on these for a very long time. And I have been uploading in between some of the other art projects that have you know like I've always sidestep sometimes but I always come back to uh, finishing this project it's been about I don't know I think by the time I'm finished it will be about two years I I was estimating about 18 months but obviously a few things got in the way and and um, you know a few things got in the way and but I've you know like this is my fourth ace but what I wanted to do is probably show you some of the aces that I've got so far so here we go here's the ace of diamonds the ace of hearts the ace of spades which I've recently done and of course now this one so that is this lot and I'm probably going to be shamefully plugging these for a little while so please bear with me um, only because I suppose I've been working on them for such a long time and um, you know and for those who like playing card games like you know Canasta or Texas Hold'em or what else would you I mean, oh my gosh snap I mean snap even you know so you know there's these um there's these cards to consider so and I thought you know and, and I have been saying it before and I have been saying it instead of I thought the idea behind this was you know and I know that people you know like sometimes people do art because just for the love of it some some artists um paint uh, like they take commissions and it's part of their business and a part of their work and stuff like that and I thought to myself well look I'm an unknown artist who's gonna want to pay you know like 1500 bucks for a painting which um, and mind you it's you know like I'm on the cheap you know because by the time I finish you know framing this and painting it and all of that but who wants to pay that much for an unknown uh, an unknown artist and I thought but you know what I need to finish artwork and I need it to be I need it to be commercially viable how about a deck of cards people don't mind spending 20 or 30 dollars for a special I mean, it wouldn't be 30 dollars but around the 20 dollar mark for a deck of cards and what a better way to um, keep on arting and you know doing this in a commercial way so 
this is a project which um, I've, I'm quite passionate about and haven't really pushed too much but I thought it, I'm, I'm getting close so I thought I'd actually uh, talk about it a bit uh, Wendy says we are 20 oh yeah we've said that we said that um, okay Wendy says uh, Chrissy you should do that just for an extra one uh, we know how you like to get distracted with projects <laughs> yes I know well you know what there's a lot of distractions actually coming up and I actually should mention one of the distractions actually um, there's quite a few distractions but um, I won't say too much but at the moment um, I just wanted to mention about uh, a project um, which Fine Art and has um, um, well we're talking about something that's coming up in a few months a couple of months actually in March uh, March Mashup and um, what it is it's all about creating creatures and that's all I'm going to say at the moment but there's something interesting coming up in a couple of months and I just want you guys to be um, to stay tuned because it's uh, quite interesting so when we get closer I'll, I'll say a little bit more but at the moment all I'm going to say is is that March mashup and that's all I'm going to say uh, okay will says is your art going on the backs of the cards or the faces um, uh, okay this is they're the face cards I'm actually going to do a back as well um, I've got a few ideas in my head um, I've got one in particular and uh, the I've got a design which is like a geometric design you know how you see like in normal cards on the back of cards you'll see a, a geometric design but I also thought I've got an idea in my head one of my joker cards which is the animals and what I wanted to do is use that but do it like an, an um, like an outline um, an outline I, I don't know how else to describe it but it will be an outline that's an idea in my head I'm playing with a few ideas so um, I'm almost there but um, I, I'm gonna do if I'm gonna give myself some options so I'll do probably do about maybe two or three designs and I'll, I'll film these you know I'll actually show these and and then I'll decide which one I like the most um, uh, where's the ace of base <laughs> that's a that's a group I know that oh my gosh you're showing your age Shannon <laughs> so am I because I know what that is uh, Wendy says oh uh, Chrissy you should do um, you should do that just for an extra one we know how oh hang on we've said that um, Uh, the backs have to be all the same of course they have to be all the same yes um, Wendy says uh, Chrissy you are um, are you going to leave the cards up on the screen oh no I'm not okay sorry thanks Wendy okay okay diamonds going hearts going ace going there you go all right Brenda March mashup what medium any medium uh, any medium is acceptable um, Zoe to say to say I have to run um, but first uh, hi will bye for now okay Peggy thank you so much for coming um, so appreciate you being here um, but i talk to you soon I'm sure I'm sure it will be the month-long thing okay all right okay all right okay okay well while I'm doing this while I'm painting this as well I also have a few things that I wanted to talk about uh, that, that's okay that's okay P um, I also wanted to talk about fixatives I've been getting and I've been getting questions and I've seen a lot of people 
um, talking about this and it's fixatives and I know that we've talked about this and but I just thought I would like to bring it up again first of all I just wanted to say uh, actually no I won't tell you what I do but I'll tell you all of the fixatives that I've tried okay so hit Renata hello nice to see you hello my dear have a nice 2019 glad to catch up that stream hello everyone wonderful nice to see you here I get so excited I'm so sorry you know I get so excited to see all my all my lovely friends okay first of all can I just talk about fixatives and the questions that we get about fixatives people are asking should who are just starting out with pastel and they go should we use should I use fixative I'm using uh, say pan pastels or pastels and I'm going to use color pencil on top or they're just doing a, a pastel um, a pastel painting now can I just tell you the, pa the 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 fixatives that I've used okay I just want to tell you this right off the bat and there's quite a few and it's not as if I haven't tried a few now there's one which is an Australian one here uh, fixative um, this one is by I think it's Mikador it doesn't say it's an Australian one right um, that's one okay that's one here's another one Sennelier pastel fixative that's another one Another one, Krylon workable fixative. That's one. That's another one. You can't say I haven't tried. Here's another one, Winsor Newton fixative. Now, can I just say these are all huge brands? Like these are like reputable manufacturers. Like. In particular, these guys, Schminky, Winsor Newton, right, right. And can I just say, I'm not using any of them in my work. Uh, none, none is the word, none. And there's a reason why is because um, I've had too many negative uh, results I've had situations where I've sprayed and um, and I've left it and it it's changed the color of my pastel work um, I've had you know where there's been splatters and all sorts of things like that and it's all been negative and and then off and then not only that not only have I used fixative and in the beginning it discolors it then starts to deteriorate on my surface um, so and I know that there are people that swear by uh, fixative but I can tell you what I'm not in, in that camp I'm in the other camp where I don't use it only because the surface that I use is pastel mat you don't need to use fixative with this surface and it's all about the surface right but if you're going to use a fixative spectra fix is the one that probably would be close enough for me to recommend and I wouldn't even use it with this spray bottle I would use it now I've um, there's this bottle which is a fine mist spray so what I've done is I've actually uh, emptied this bottle into here and as you can see I've hardly used it which is it just goes to show that with all the pastel work that I've done um, in the last maybe now one or two years I haven't used fixative at all and I just wanted to set the record straight that's probably from my point of view 
every artist is different and they would be using Sally oh hello Sally nice to see you hi still not picked up a pencil yet uh, but have lots of ideas but love your work oh okay thank you so much thank you so much yeah so this is this is about as far as I'm going to go with uh, with a fixative if I'm going to use anything and I suppose the people that are using for mixed media that would be where I would use a fixative if I was combining uh, media but again it's the surface and it all depends on the surface so I just wanted to know what you how you guys felt about this but maybe I'm a little bit too I feel a little bit too strongly about this but all I want to there have been questions and that's why I wanted to uh, uh, that's why I wanted to talk about this you know so I thought I'd bring out all the all the fixatives that I've used and so it's not as if I haven't used a whole heap now if you guys have got a whole heap of other fixatives that you've used that are fantastic please let me know I would love to know I would love to know what you guys are using um, yeah so uh, Jelena says, I have to go now. Lunch is over. I will watch it later. Okay, Jelena, thank you so much for uh, for popping by. Oh, g'day, Co. How are you going? Nice to see you, mate. Um, yeah, so uh, have I missed anything? Um, uh, Brenda says, I use Krylon fixative. Okay, so I'll be interested to see what you think um, of Krylon, uh, Brenda. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, Silky says, another German here. <laughs> Hello, Renat. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, uh, your, uh, your imagery is amazing, Chrissy. Surrealism is obviously your gift. Oh, I love doing all of this stuff. I love it. I love it. Uh, Renata's, okay. Have I missed anything else? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, we're all good. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm actually quite happy with the way this is going at the moment. And I'm loving this masking feel, by the way. Um, all right, so... Uh, and this is going to be like quite a bit of green here. I just want to see, hmm, I'm, um, am I early or have you not started yet, Chrissy? Uh, no, no, you're just on time. I just wanted permission to do art. You can do art. Of course you can, Shiny. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So a lot of layers are going, are going to go on here. So here we go. I'm starting off with the greens. Okay. So that's that was my thing with the fixative. I just wanted to... Yeah, just talk about it a little bit because, um, and I and I know that I I know that pastel I know that some people, I I mean artists either go they're either this way or that way with fixatives. So um, let me see. Hmm. Uh, Brenda, I've only used it on coloured pencil and one pastel I done with Will uh, worked great. Well, there you go. G'day, Monty. How are you going? Krylon darkens too much. Well, see, there you go. Chrissy, your choice of spectrum is spot on. Uh, sorry, spectra fix is spot on. Yeah, there you go. And can I tell you, and I'd like to also link um, this particular bottle. Um, I'm sure that a lot of pastel artists would know Jason Morgan, who I also follow. Um, he suggested to use this fine mist spray, and he is just uh, fantastic for suggesting that because uh, because this one here, if you were to use it out of this bottle, it spits out like little little spots you know and but this one is a bit of a fine it, it's just a fine mist spray so I actually bought one for water and one for this anyway so I just thought I'd mention that um, for uh, for tips and tricks so anyway so I'll just keep on 
I'll just keep on layering here. Uh, Chrissy, I know Australia is having summer now. How are the big fat flies? The big fat flies are flying left, right and centre. You know, the, the Aussie salute. This is what we have. That's what we call the Aussie salute. Um, uh, Kenny, she actually put colour down 20 minutes in. New record, says Wendy. See, you know, you know, see, you know, you guys have got to keep me in line at some point. Uh, no flies, mosquitoes are the enemy now. Oh, yes, and the, the mozzies. The mozzies are really bad, actually. You know what we had the other day? We had 45 degrees. Now, please don't ask me. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I assume it's somewhere in the high 90s, okay, um, for people that um, that do or, the, the, you know, that do Fahrenheit. But, like, it was 45 where I was. So I either had to be in the pool, on the beach, or in an air-conditioned air um, room um, somewhere. So... Uh, okay, um, mosquitoes are no good. Uh, there must be stagnant water somewhere. Okay, well, I've got a pool, so there, there you go. Um, let me see. Uh, it rained a, um, a lot a lot quickly late, lately. Okay, I don't know how people go after 5 p.m. Mozzies everywhere. It's funny because Australia is marked as being a lovely summer social environment. I stay inside. There you go. Heidi says, I've tried a couple of fixatives. I like the Spectrafix with the with the mist sprayer. There you go. I had no problem, but I find with pastel mat you don't really need it. Well, there you go. And that's and that's and that's why I don't use it because I use uh, pastel mat. But I think if I was using something like an ingress paper or a different kind of a surface, I would probably end up using Spectrafix. Absolutely, Heidi. Yeah. Um, is it snowing? Um, it is snowing outside here. Oh my gosh. How thick, Renata? How how high is your snow there? Because I know um, with Anne uh, in Finland, um, like her dogs are actually, you know, enjoying the, the snow. So I can imagine um, the snow up there in the Northern Hemisphere. Um Okay, um, uh, Shannon says Friday and Saturday was stupid hot. Then Sunday, I think it, that's exactly right. Forty-five degrees is very, very hot. Yes, it is, Co. Yes, it is. You know, that's when. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, actually, that's what I wanted to also talk about. Well, I didn't even say Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. Because this is my first stream of the year, um, and I've got to tell you, I had um, I had quite a bit of family um, come over over the the New Year, so I was um, yeah, you know, a lot of my um, I had a lot of cousins, nieces, nephews, you name it. I had it all happening at my house. Um, yeah. Um, and you know managed to do some art in between all of that um, uh, look at that beautiful brand you needed eraser sitting there oh yeah can i just say now this now you guys are gonna laugh silky says i hate the snow when i was living in germany well there you go um Okay, Renata said it doesn't stay, but in the south of Germany there is uh, there is uh, too much. They say okay, all right. Now can I just say with my kneaded eraser, I was just before I started, I go have I got everything, and I looked and I go, oh, where's my kneaded eraser? And I couldn't find it anywhere. Can you believe it? I just can't believe how I keep on losing this, right? So I ended up having to use a brand new one. So here we go. Now, if we're talking about kneaded erasers, seeing as we're on the subject, did you know that the Faber-Castell is probably the best that I've um, that I've worked with? I've worked with, the, I think, it, is it the Generals? I think it's the Generals. But 
nowhere near this is like so soft it's almost like plasticine I don't know if you guys know what that means plasticine yeah plasticine but it's just fantastic so I've got it by myself I don't by my side I don't know where the other one is um, Jeff goes 45 degrees is 113 degrees Fahrenheit well there you go Jeff thanks mate thanks for that bloody hot day that was bloody hot day although I think in WA it gets hotter on the west side on the west coast than it does on the east coast of Australia um, Wendy says did you know that all needed erasers are the same really are not oh sorry are not the same um, no uh, Faber Castell would have to be the one that I would recommend if I was if someone was to ask me um, I love snow haven't seen any since maybe over 10 years ago not interested in snow in Australia though if I spent money I'd go back to New Zealand and see snow are you a Kiwi shiny are you a Kiwi Kiwi are people from New Zealand um, uh, Co says brand new one what happened to the 2018 needed eraser it's retired officially you know what it's somewhere around Co I gotta tell you it's somewhere around um, Wendy says are not the same because you know putting uh, uh, putting not in there doesn't change the meaning or mm -hmm. 45 degrees is a cool day here there you go Jeff I know because on in Western Australia it gets bloody hot actually I shouldn't be blowing I've got oh I've told you that oh that's right you guys know that I've got actually got a um, uh, a new vacuum cleaner which I'm actually going to do a uh, review on and I think Lindy was the one who was asking about the vacuum cleaner come on let me show you let me show you here we go this is my new one okay best decks no sorry best deck right I've got rid of my my devil what was my what was it my my devil and it was red and this one has um, a HEPA filter which is probably much healthier for you know Vacuuming is just as bad as blowing and you know, I'm not going to go into that but but this is pretty good for me and I use it all the time. Uh, Jeff goes 45 degrees is a cool day here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Faber-Castell, what, uh, what I have about five of them, different colours I got when I worked for free. Okay, uh, of course I'm a Kiwi, sis. <laughs> Well, I didn't know that. Well, now I know that. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> I must say, there's a lot of Kiwis. Uh, a Kiwi is a New Zealander. Okay, I just want, needed to um, uh, educate people that are not, who are not aware, but a Kiwi is a New Zealander living in Australia. There you go. Hello, shiny. I have different color fairy. Okay. Yes, I need a vacuum cleaner before I kill my lungs. Lindy, this one, this one, this one, this one. Best egg. HEPA filter, okay? So all I have to do, it traps the pastel. I suppose, I suppose it's, I don't know. Anyway, it's better than the other one, I suppose, that I was using, but... When it comes to vacuuming, I like a clean surface with pastel work, so that's why I use the vacuum cleaner. Sometimes people ask me, oh, wow, Chrissy, how clean is your surface? Well, you know why it's clean? Because I vacuum everything. Katrine, hello, Katrine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so happy that you're here. Um, haven't been in your stream for a while. Um, it's good to be back. Well, this is the first one for 2019. So every Wednesday, same bat time, same bat channel. That's all I've got to say. Okay, so yeah, I'm back here. All right. So as you can see, this is going to take me a while. Let's see if I can use soft tools. I'll use soft tools, speed things up a bit. 
here we go and there's going to be a lot of greens here so I just wanted to you know ah oh, oops hang on that's come off okay this is soft tool this is a soft tool um, for people who are not sure about pan pastels and how they're used uh, these are the applicators and there are so much uh, Trisha hello I haven't seen you here welcome welcome nice to see you here uh, wonderful wonderful that you've caught the stream okay why is this keep on why is this falling away all the time is it the way I'm using it okay all right wow this keeps on falling away why is that oh okay so let me see same channel same same day with a with a new show called the mystery of the missing needed eraser oh yes Co. yes Co. okay christine welcome welcome man why don't i get notifications because have you got the bell icon thing going that's what it is and i think youtube don't always notify everyone so um but i'm so glad that you're here now so that's wonderful ah no best deck vacuum on ebay where do i get one please chrissy uh where did i get mine where did i get mine amazon amazon try amazon.com uh amazon not australia amazon.com um Yeah. Now you guys have, should be proud of me at least. You should be proud that I'm actually doing art while I'm talking. Like, you know, you should be proud. Um, Christine, ding, ding. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I tell you that now. Um, there is going to be so many layers on this so I'm just getting as much as I can in areas this is definitely going to be a green a green one I'm actually going to get rid of this guy because he's split and just so you know I've actually got here we go a selection of soft uh, soft tool applicator applicators um, good to um, have a little container like that I've got a bit of a fetish for containers so um, okay this area here is going to be dark I'm actually going to I can see that I need to darken this up a lot um, Let's have a look. Soft pastel. Now these are Mount Vision pastels. Uh, I like using these. Uh, they're... Um, uh, they're sort of like soft but they're actually quite they're not as soft as uh, they're not as soft as Sennelier um, pastels actually I still need for it to go darker there so what I've got here I'm actually going to use a bit of blue here this would be interesting Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, Chrissy, what is the element of the Ace of Clubs? Oh, hang, hang on, first of all, let me just go back, uh, make sure. Uh, question, first of all, Heidi, question. I consider myself to be a person that 
likes to draw at what point do you call yourself an artist wow wow um pretty much what i'm doing now i suppose um you call you anyone who starts to in my opinion anyway that's a very good question heidi i like that one i consider myself to be just a person that likes to draw at what point do you call yourself an artist now you are an artist heidi definitely if you're producing artwork you're an artist because uh, i'll tell you why here's a th this is the reason why if um if you were exhibiting at an exhibition right the question that they would be asking was um, about a particular painting who is the artist right that's happened to me so the minute you start producing artwork you are an artist for sure for sure um, let me just go back have I missed what have I missed yeah um, oh, Katrine, sorry, I missed something. Katrine, uh, Katrine says, I love your fairy tale artwork, Chrissy. Um, I really love your style. I'm so happy because I sold my first painting the other day. Oh my gosh, what did you sell? What was it? You have to tell me. You have to tell me. Oh, congratulations. What a wonderful feeling that is. Oh, that's lovely. Notifications only work on stuff like ads. Um, you need to paint a wall in your kitchen with blackboard paint and mm, I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure Shannon uh, Silky says um uh, but they don't ship to Australia oh this is the vacuum cleaner um okay let me see I'm actually going to find out I'm actually going to look where I actually found this I actually have to look I can't remember that's bad, isn't it? It could be eBay too. It could be eBay too. I'm actually almost... i tell you what, Silky, give me... After this live stream, I'm actually going to have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll have a look where I purchased mine and I'll actually send you a link. Um, okay. Uh, let me see notifications okay okay um, uh, where is Wendy <laughs> I haven't seen her all week I'll oh, believe you me she's very present <laughs> very present um, okay Chrissy what is the element of your ace of club says co um, the element is earth okay that is my element um, Lindy says, okay, I'm off to Amazon now. I presume that means it's cordless. Uh, uh, yes, it is. It's cordless. It gets charged. It is a 220 volt. If I remember, or 240 volt. Um, uh, Anne says, I got the notification about 15 minutes later uh, than when this was scheduled and started. YouTube notification. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. It's... Yeah. yeah, it's the way YouTube work. Wendy, Wendy is here somewhere. <laughs> um, let me see. Keep on going. I've got to keep on going. I just want to make sure. Uh, 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 Wendy says, after I saw my first painting, then I thought I'm an artist. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay. Um, uh, very present. There you go. Is that... Is that what we are calling it? <laughs> yes, extremely, Wendy, okay. Uh, my sister invented um, a paint scraper app for iPhone. It's genius, literally a paint scraper. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Um, we paint random shapes in all, okay. Uh, Wendy says, uh, OMG, you almost said scheduled properly. No such thing. It's schedule, okay. You can say schedule I'll say schedule, all right? Um, Anne says, um, I was hes hesitant to call myself an artist for a long time. Um, oh, hang on. I better keep on doing this. Um, I felt that if I call myself an artist, people automatically assume that I must 
want to be famous i must do exhibitions and i must sell yeah i know what you mean and but if you were if you were if you know that when you well any any artist if you're showing work in an exhibition they'll say who's the artist so at what point i don't know So, in other words, like, would you call me an artist? I have a day job. I don't know. I don't know what I call myself. Um, and because I don't, uh, I don't pursue any of those, I was so hesitant. But I didn't have had that feeling toward other artists, even if they were more okay. Katrine, thank you. Yes, it feels so good for all that work. You know, it was an acrylic pour. In, um, initiative painting i was really happy with it oh katrine wonderful wonderful congratulations um i've been working with oh wendy says i've been working with chrissy during the break to work and talk at the same time apparently it has helped a little bit anyway at least for starting okay uh christine says i was watching star trek last night picard says schedule two well, there, you go. <laughs> there you go see See, Wendy, there are people that say schedule. <laughs> it's not just me. It's Captain Picard as well, okay? Um, maybe it was all the Star Trek she used to watch. <laughs> well, no, I actually watched it when um, Captain Kirk. <laughs> well, that's showing my age, isn't it? <laughs> that's showing my age for sure um okay uh true and isn't that funny we are more accepting of others than ourselves you are an artist of artists in my opinion absolutely oh my gosh if anyone hasn't seen fine art and work you should go and have a look you know what if you want jaw dropping work if you want your jaw to drop just go to and from fine art and oh my oh wow look what i've done here a big mistake look at this i've gone over hang on here we go this is how forgiving pastels is look at this hello look how cool is that Okay, uh, Gary says, Chrissy, better than being... <laughs> yes, I, I, I can't say those words out loud, but yes, I agree. <laughs> um, oh, so funny. You people are so funny, making me laugh. Um, okay. I love Star Trek, says Shiny. Okay, I love, I love it. I love all of that. See, it's all fantasy, science fiction, all of that. It's just, oh, I love Star Trek only a bit. Haven't seen uh, last two movies. Yeah, but I'm more on the the old, the old one, you know. Beam me up, Scotty. The really old one. Um, okay. <laughs> Paulo says, love Voyager. Well, there you go um co says uh, uh not mistakes chrissy just happy accidents absolutely um and says uh chrissy um it was just a kind of a personal thing i felt that the title would bring too much extra and all that i wanted to do was draw but now i've learned uh, not to get bothered about oh look and seriously oh my gosh oh my gosh your work is sensational and so many artists here. Like, oh my, oh my gosh, all the work that I've seen here are all fantastic. Everyone's, you know, just, oh. Like, I am in good company. That's all I can say. I'm in good company. Um, there are so many wonderful artists out um, here in the chat. And everyone has got some wonderful techniques. And we're all, we're all different, aren't we? You know, like, we all have different ways in the way we paint. And wouldn't life be boring if we were all the same? You know what I mean? Oh, yes. 
Um, if people ask if you are an artist, just answer truthful and be literal. They aren't asking how you pay your bills. Oh, well, I suppose. I suppose. Hang on a sec. Here we go. I'm just going to have to keep on going here. I'm so sorry. This is going to take a while. Okay. Brenda says shiny. Okay, okay. Wait, I missed it. What is March mashup? Oh, here we go. Okay, March mashup. Now, March mashup, very good question, Christine. March mashup is, it's pretty much a creation of two elements making one. It could be a living creature, living creature or a, or a plant, and it's called March Mashup. Now, this is Anne from Fine Art Anne's uh, creation. This is her baby, and uh, Wendy and myself are supporting this. It is a challenge in March. Every day, there will be prompts, okay? Uh, there will be prompts of something for you to paint and draw every day it is you don't have to you can use any medium you like uh, there's going to be more details coming up soon uh, we will be talking about this a little bit more in the future but when it's um, Pretty much, I, I, should, I should just say that. I mean, probably a bit of a teaser, but pretty much it is uh, creating creatures. And if you remember a while ago, uh, Anne from Fine Art, Anne, during the month of Inktober, Anne was creating, creating creatures. And it's pretty much come from that, stem from that. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, look what's happened here. My things come off. <coughs> and that's pretty much what it is. When, and it, it'll, it'll be for the month of March. So if anyone wanted to uh, jump on board, uh, we would love you to jump on board. But at the moment, um, and we, we will... Um, notify you of all the details coming up so if anyone wanted to uh, jump on board um, just watch this space and we'll be talking about it uh, Wendy will be talking about it Anne will be talking about it um, so it's it's coming up so that's pretty much it so if you if you if you're not inspired in some shape way or form uh, March mashup will inspire you that's all I'm going to say. Um, uh, like the creatures. Hang, hang on a sec. Hang on. Um, yes, like the creatures. Um, uh, I think you're definitely an artist, Chrissy. Um, I used. Uh, I used to be. Um, I used to be artists. Were were those who did fine art degrees and exhibited all the time, or were picked up by a gallery? Not always the case, Marion. Not always the case. Um, but yes, I understand what you mean. Uh, Christine, it is a month long art challenge with prompts. There you go. Thank you, Wendy. You're better at explaining things than what I am. Uh, the light green reminds me of the Northern Lights. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, there'll be so much going on here. Uh, 
Uh, March Mashup sounds like a music video done by Chrissy and Wendy, an R&B music video. No, but I tell you what, watch this space because I tell you what, I'm excited. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm extremely excited. Um, Okay, uh, social media has made art accessible to everyone. Yes, it has, Marion. Yes, it has. Um, I consider. Oh, okay, thank you so much, Heidi. Um, awesome. I love the creatures challenge. I tell you what, just leave some space in March to do that. Okay, every day something new. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, hang on. I've got to get... Oh, there's this one here as well. Can you see... Oh, no, you can't see that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Might just go a little bit lighter here. So we would like you to participate when the time comes, hopefully. Um, more details to come soon. Um, I wonder what creatures you guys would be creating, a mythical creature. You know what, Co? You can create those as well. In any medium. Okay. It's pro it probably goes along the lines this March mashup if it's not like Inktober, but it's a it's a challenge. It's a 31 day challenge. That's all there is to it and probably not as strict as the Inktober one is I would say okay all right here we go oh, look at that So much detail. I'm going to put so much detail to this. So, but <clears throat> I think Pan Pastels 2 is a more um, a transparent type pastel. If 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 people were to ask me, if you were to compare soft pastels with Pan Pastels, it's more of a transparent. It's like watercolors, isn't it? Um, where watercolors is a transparent paint as opposed to acrylics or oils which are opaque so yeah all right okay out comes the vacuum cleaner again folks sorry um uh this is my last ace yes um hang on a sec just let me vacuum this up Yes, this is my last ace. Um, can I just show you all of them again, just very quickly? Here we go. Ace of Diamonds. Uh, sorry, Air, Earth of Air. Ace of Diamonds. Um, water. Ace of Hearts. And Fire. Ace of Spades. So there you go. Um, and this one, as we said, Clubs. There you go. All right. So I'm just going to keep on going. So have you guys got any questions or anything like that for me? Um, um, and says, let me see. Um, uh, the Kraken says Co. Oh, as in the Titans. Is that what you mean? Um, okay. Uh, 
Anne says, also, I want to mention you don't need to do one picture every day. You can do one every second day or one a week, one in a week. The idea is just to get creative and loose and uh, loose up your imagination. Absolutely. Um, uh, yes. Uh, Essie, hello. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, Sneak says, uh, can you get that degree of blending with brushes instead of the soft tools with pan pastels or even other pastels for that matter? Okay. All right. The difference, say, with, you mean, I think you mean with these brushes is that this is a slower process than the soft tools. That's one. Uh, the reason why I use the brushes is because... It gives me um, more control and um, and I can just go bit by bit pretty much Hang on, I just want to make sure can you tell uh, can you get the degree of blending with brushes instead of the soft tools yes slow with pens or even other pa other pastels for that matter well, with the pastels, I can actually apply the pastel, use the brush and blend. So it's a, a really great blending tool, if anything. Um, okay, yes, the Kraken from the Titans. There you go, see? You know what? You can actually take me to a trivia night and just, um, I could be, um, I could answer all the movie questions. How about that? Uh, Katrine, uh, Katrine says, um, um, I love them. Okay, wonderful. Um, this, okay, okay, okay. Chrissy, um, over an hour of streaming already. Yes, and I've actually been doing some art <laughs> and talking at the same time. <laughs> I'm actually need to be using more blue here well this is a soft pastel okay well here we go i'm actually going to sneaks i'm actually going to show you how this works with the brush as well Now I don't want it to go down much further than that, so I'm actually going to vacuum it. I'm going to vacuum this area, and here we go. Hang on a sec. As you can see I use this a lot the vacuum cleaner I just love what it does here it it's like a, a lovely gradient here we go that looks really nice I like that And I'll probably continue to go darker. Uh, let me see. Chrissy, uh, let me see. Uh, trivia night. As long as it isn't art related, she can answer them, says Wendy. Oh, Wendy, you say the nicest things, don't you? I'm um, sure I can ask them uh, the movie questions. Um, I love doing that. Uh, thanks, Wendy. I'll add them to the cart too. You'll need to get commissions uh, for this. Uh, for this, your own Amazon link. Oh, okay. Uh, Guy, Hello. I haven't seen you here before. Welcome, welcome. Um, I have just got my first set of five colors of pan pastels with soft tools, uh, but have already worn a hole in the little in the little sponge, and I and I cannot get the larger sponges clean. What am I doing wrong? Let me say this again. Let me let me say this again. I have just got my first set of five colors of pan pastels with soft tools, but have already worn a hole in the little sponge. Yes, this is going to happen. You're going to have to accept this guy. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, I cannot get the larger sponges clean. What am I doing wrong? Well, I've got the larger sponges here. Now, 
these are from my last project but I've, I've actually because I'm using the same colors that's fine but you can actually wash, wash these with detergent or a special paint cleaner uh, either one is fine and you just let them dry so you're not doing anything wrong you can actually clean these so that's fine and, and well well yeah the pigment will remain it will stain the sponge but it will be clean enough for you to use in your project um, by the way uh, by the way we will be having a special guest in our live stream conversation oh yes we are uh, any guesses who it will be yeah okay no spoilers to those involved okay uh, you're making Essie says you're making progress talking and making art a lot. I know this is not usual for me Essie I'm, I'm talking too much usually and um, not enough art but um, hang on here we go um, uh, g'day Monica hello welcome nice to see you here welcome I don't think I've seen you here before welcome welcome um, uh, let me see um, Kenny says movie trivia other than Clash of the Titans which is the other movie you can find a Kraken oh which one it's only in Clash of the Titans the Kraken Oh, okay, Co, give me a clue. I'm, I'm good with these. Okay, give me a clue, please. I'm going to guess it. Don't worry. Find a Kraken. Um, Wendy, I guess... <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, here we go. All right. I think... Okay, okay, Perseus versus the Kraken. Now, can I just say Perseus was in Clash of the Count uh, Clash of the Titans, sorry. So just thought I'd mention that. Uh, haven't managed to catch a live yet. Oh well look here you are, you're here. Wow. Thanks for the welcome and quick response. I am new to your channel and enjoy it. Well, you're here to stay. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the channel to be. <laughs> Well, you know, well, this is where we chat too much and not enough art. That's what happens here, actually, I've got to say. But, uh, you know, I come good in the end. I actually finish the project in the end, you know. So, all right. So, this is, this is a lot of green, actually, in here. But don't worry. All of this is going to be like a castle because I've, I've got a lot of castles. All my aces have got castles. They're either in the castle or outside of the castle or there's water running outside of the castle there's all sorts of things going on but there's castles okay uh, let me see Monica haven't managed to... okay 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 oh shoot oh co it's in a movie with shoot I've seen it okay I can't remember but I but I remember it saying the day all right is it Percy Jackson okay there is Oh, hang on. There is. <laughs> um. Hang on. Hang on a sec. I've just got to fix this bit here. I've, I've mucked this bit up here. Hang on. Let me see. Um, oh, pumpkin Spice. Hello. Hello, Leslie. How are you? Nice to see you here. Pirates, says Co. I don't know about pirates. Lindy got it. Uh, hang on. Pirates. No, no, no. Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't think so. Percy Jackson. It's Percy Jackson. It's the one where... Um, oh, there is one. There is one with uh, Pierce Brosnan, and he's like the the centaur. Oh, what 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 is that called? I've actually got the movie, and I can't think of it. It doesn't come so easily to my head.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, can I can someone tell me where else is the um Oh now I've lost it. I've lost it. Sorry guys, I've lost it. Um the Kraken. Where else does the Kraken appear? Um Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, two had Davy, oh, and then two had Davy Jones, and he had summoned the Kraken as his pet. Says Co. Oh my goodness, are you googling this, Co? Are you googling this, or do you know this really? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Look, my masking. Oh my oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit of blue here. I'm actually adding a bit of blue here. Hang on, let me just get this here. It's a bit of a blue green. I need it to contrast with that, so that's okay. But of course, these are all base colors. I want to see if I can finish this this weekend. There are so many projects that I need to that I want to do. And I've got this big big huge landscape which I'm actually going to be doing, which I'm absolutely terrified to do, which is part of the packaging for this collection. So um no 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 googling at all says co. Uh watch uh, watched it many times. Okay. Okay. Um, I've seen all the pirate movies several times. I know it's the Kraken. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wendy says, uh, you have so many. Imagine how I feel, Chrissy. Oh, okay. Um, I've watched it a couple of times. Well, there you go. Uh, John Wyndham wrote, the Kraken wakes. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Has a film made of that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Well... The Kraken is a celebrity. Um, that's all I can say. Okay. Um, Wendy says, okay, we should do a large landscape with Chrissy so she won't get so nervous. Oh, look, I tell you what, I am so nervous about this landscape. You have no idea. I don't know about you guys, but do you guys get nervous when you're about to start some kind, you know, like your projects or a new project? Do you get, do you get nervous? But I'll tell you what, I get nervous all the time. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, okay. Um, hey, did we ever share, share his oil painting? Mm -hmm. Oh, did Will ever share his... No, he hasn't. That's personal. I believe that that is personal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think that Will would share it when... Yes. Yeah. Will, Will will share it when he's done. And uh, we're just going to have to wait, um, it seems. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Movie trivia. Uh, there is There is only... One very recent movie that featured the Kraken. Which movie is it? Oh, serious, Co? You're going to get me to answer that? Okay, people in the chat can join in, I'm sure. Okay, there is only one recent movie that featured the Kraken. Oh, that couldn't be Aquaman, could it? And I haven't seen that yet, but that's the only recent movie that I could think of. Could I be right? Oh, when is it on a live stream? Because if you mess up, it's there for all to see. Yeah. Other than that you can edit it out. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, yes, I'm very nervous to start my Zodiac. Well, there you go. You know what? Nike. That's all I have to say. Nike. Um, uh, this is an art trivia all over again. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. 
uh, Anne says yes especially if it's something um, I have not done before uh, or I need to learn new technique that makes me a bit nervous well I tell you what this is like a humongous thing and it's and this landscape is going to have all four realms water air earth and fire all in one landscape so it's going to be like about approximately um, uh, I think it's one I think it's 1200 millimeters like a meter and a meter to over a meter for sure by um, 70 centimeters it is going to be massive and it, the reason why it's that big is because there's a whole heap of detail that I need to put in and doing a little one is just not going to do it justice so it's going to take me a while um, uh, Chris says, yeah, I know. No pressure, Wendy. Waiting for the week to end after Raylene has... It. Okay, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, Chrissy, you are correct. It's Aquaman. A thousand points for me because I'm giving myself a thousand points. There you go. Uh, but then I tend to paint... Okay, I tend to paint, paint it in my head several times before hitting the canvas. Yes, and I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, I do understand, Anne. Um, I want to see Aquaman. Oh, speaking of movies, guess what I saw on the weekend? Oh, Queen, uh, Queen um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, I, I went with my son, my young bloke, um, and he goes, he goes, Mom, let's go, let's go to the movies. I go, Yep, let's go. I go, What do you want to see? And he goes, Mom, I've seen Aquaman, but I don't mind seeing that again because, but I haven't seen Bohemian Rhapsody, and he's into Queen music, and I go, Okay, let's go see Queen. And I tell you what, awesome movie for those people who haven't seen it. Awesome movie. Um, uh, sneaks. Oh, hang on. Uh, night. Hang on, hang on. I've missed something here. Um, have I missed something? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Nike, get children to do the work for you. Only $2 a day. Okay. Um, Monica says, I'm not even filming and I get nervous all the time with my art. Absolutely. Uh, screen name is from Nike. Just do it exactly, Sneaks. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Heidi says, yes, I get and stay nervous till about halfway through the art piece, but um, always just figure it's because I'm still learning. Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Nervous all the time. I'm, st I'm learning as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm always learning. Landscape's not my thing, but you know, it'll have to be one day. Um, Guy says, I'm about to I'm I'm about to do a project using pastel pencils on my sister-in-law's uh, cocker spaniel, and so far I've only managed to flex my fingers because I'm nervous doing something for someone. Isn't that nerve-wracking? For sure. Katrine says, uh, do you use fixative on your pastel work? Um, I've tried a few and I think it takes away the natural soft look. Absolutely, Katrine. Um, I, for me personally, I don't recommend it. If you've got pastel mat, you don't need fixative. Pretty much. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, sneaks. I'm sure there are a lot of talented artists cleaning house to make ends meet, though. Yep, okay. Uh, Robin, hello, happy new year. You snuck in, didn't you? Uh, nice to see you here. Nice to see you here. Um, Brenda, yeah, uh, yeah, she goes, okay, all right, all right, okay, hang on, all right. Uh, has anyone vanished, varnished a pastel pencil? A pa oh, sorry, has anyone varnished a pastel piece? You don't, <laughs> can't even talk. You don't, seriously, you don't need to vanish. Ah, can't even talk. Has anyone varnished a pastel piece? You know what? That's almost like a tongue twister for me at the moment. Um, you don't need to. Um, well, I haven't. I don't know if anyone else has. That's a very good question. You don't need to varnish one. People... Varnish in a form of pastel piece would be spraying a final fixative. But don't do it, Christine. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Um, Christy, hello. I'm going to be doing a silhouette. Should I use black or dark blue for it? Uh, dark blue. But I'm not quite sure what... Uh, what... Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it, yeah, it all depends, yeah, what the silhouette is behind, um, I would say. Um, so, yeah, uh, Snake says, uh, do we all, uh, do we all have coasters? Art seems to scare us all to death. Absolutely, <laughs> that's a nice way to put it. Um, Chris, okay, 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 well, okay, all right. Okay, now I think it's time for me to take off these doohickeys here. Oh, doohickeys. Oh, okay, that well, that could be a Chrissyism actually, rather than an Australianism. Hang on a sec. I'm just thinking. I really should not take that off yet. I really need to, I need more contrast. And I might actually do, I need something darker. I need, this actually might be good. Yes. This is very close to a dioxazine, a dioxazine purple. And I've got to be really careful here that I don't muddy anything here. So I just need that contrast here with the greens. Yes, that's better. I can see that better now. I think the blue wasn't enough. I think this purple is so much better because it's got red in it and red is so is, is opposite to the green. Um, okay, here we go. Um, Sneak says, Chrissy, it's a technical, it's a technical, oh, hang on, sorry, hang on. Movie trivia, who played Zeus in Clash of the Titans? Lawrence Olivier. There you go, Co. Oh, hang on, which one? But that's the Clash of the Titans, okay? Yes, it is. Lawrence Olivier. Come on, a thousand points to Chrissy. Uh, Sneak says, um, uh, Chrissy, it's a technical term. Oh, yeah, the technical term. Us being scared. <laughs> uh, co, okay. Chrissy, uh, when these cards are done, uh, won't you love to look back and remember all the live streams with friends while you made them? Oh, that, you know what? It's the whole process, Chris. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I so agree with you. Um, this is so special to me. One, because it's my first. And two, because I share, I shared all of these times. And I go, I remember when I did this ace, or I remember when I did this queen, or I remember when I did this um, jack. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. Um, Brenda, of course you don't. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Renata said, let me see. Uh, co art questions co art questions movie trivia is another channel <laughs> there you go well there you go well yeah ask me an art trivia question I don't know if I can answer them. Uh, Renata said okay Chrissy says thanks guys um, I'll start the uh, the dark blue and then go from there yeah uh, Renata says use the dark version of the complementary color of the background that will push Yes, yes. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I can, you can see that. I'm not quite sure whether you can see, but this purple is complementary and it's actually so much better than the blue here. And of course, this is Mount Vision pastel. This is an American pastel, okay? This is a US brand, uh, which I actually got shipped all the way from the US here to Australia because we don't have that here. Um, oh yes, that's so much better. Yeah. 
Chrissy, uh, there were two Clash of the Titans. You were right on the first one. Who played Zeus in the remake? Um, what's the go... It could be Liam Neeson, but another one that's actually come to my mind is who's the guy that played in um, Lord of the Rings with uh, there was a Perseus movie as well. He also played Zeus, but Liam Neeson. There we go. I'll go with that one. Um, okay. Oh, here's here's a question for you, Wendy. Do you like the Derwent graphite graphic? in uh 9b to 9h set have you tried it well you know speaking of graphite i'm actually going to do a piece now i know i've said it publicly and i'm going to do it um but um something which um i don't think i've ever done so this will be interesting ah yes i actually like and I think we want it dark down here too. Now I use this purple for uh, uh, for skin. It, they are Mount Vision. It's a pastel company, Mount Vision Pastel Company. That's the brand. And I've just taken the paper off. But I use this. I use this color for um, portraits when i want to get um the like the the dark the dark bits the shading bits um yep yep all right here we go actually i'm liking this better I know it doesn't look like much now, folks, but believe you me, it will come good in the end. Let me see. I was just having a look at what, how long have I been streaming. Uh, yes, you're right, Liam Neeson. 10,000 points. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, what made you try this brand? You know what? Um, I when I was uh, Chris when I was uh, I was having a look at pastels and I was having a look at um, some YouTube videos this was like a couple of years ago and there was this lady who was um, using this particular brand and I thought you know what this is really interesting so I actually researched it and I thought you know what I'm actually going to um, buy a handful of these and yeah, and I've got a whole, a whole, um, there are different sets, um, but yes, so, and it's plus experimenting too, you know what I mean, it's experimenting, it's stuff that I couldn't find here in Australia, so, okay, um, Co gives away points like they do on on whose lines anyway. Um, I'm finding them a little scratchy. Um, maybe it's the cheap paper I'm, I'm sketching on. Um, uh, okay. Sneaks, are you talking about the graphite or are you talking about the pastels? Um, Co, it's a pencil. Okay. Robert, I, I switched to the Mars. Lum okay, we're talking about graphite now. Okay. Okay. My name is Pencil? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm actually really loving this color. It's one of my favorites. It really is one of my favourites. <clears throat> Hang on, where is this? Just got to be careful not to make it muddy, that's all. Okay. Okay. 
I love what the pur uh, I love what the purple added. Yes, it makes a difference, doesn't it? Um, funny, Christine. Okay, okay. Monica says it, it's hard to find professional art stuff in Australia. I have to buy most stuff online in South Australia, or I can't get it. Well, you know what? I shop everywhere, and I'm telling you everywhere. I shop eBay. I shop Amazon. I shop. Uh, Jackson's although I live 50 million miles away from all of these places you know I've bought from Jerry's I've bought from um, uh, Dick Blick I've but for stuff that I couldn't get in Australia I've oh my gosh Jackson's yes I've bought from there freight cost me an arm and a leg but you know what I just have to factor that into my cost um, but yes yeah uh, okay hang on out comes the vacuum cleaner again sorry folks One of my, <laughs> oh my gosh. the vacuum cleaner sucked up one of my masking film thingies. Oh my gosh! Well, there you go. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, all right. So now I've got to be careful of that. Okay. Well, here I'm actually going to use light green, and. I better just do that here right now. The light green that I want to use, let me see. Okay, <clears throat> I need to test this, so let me see. Okay, this is the Geoconda Soft Pastel, and it is number 8820. Let's have a go. Look at that. That is nice. That is real nice. It it goes on buttery, okay, buttery, smooth, vibrant. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and I'm just using the white because I actually just want this. This is lovely. Okay, uh, you can rescue it. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Uh, I saw that. The vacuum cleaner sucked up the pastel mat. That's one powerful vacuum cleaner. <laughs> A powerful vacuum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Santa did good in his choice absolutely oh this is lovely these are lovely so there you go I'll be using these a lot I can see that Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, well, I might as well take this off now, seeing as that we're doing this. Seeing as the vacuum cleaner sucked up everything. I just need to sharpen some of this. So hang on, I'll just put this aside. Mind you, I've got some glassine paper here as well, but I haven't needed to use it at this point, so I'm not going to. Um, Santa did... Yes, they do. Wendy, they blend beautifully. Really nice. Really nice. Sharpen nicely too. There you go. 
Okay. Hang on. Now I will need this. Okay. So, oh, that's what I also forgot to say. Uh, today was my first day back at my day job. Just have to say that. I've been on holidays for since before Christmas. So how much of a break have I had for Christmas? Um, forgot to mention that before. Um, I shipped a small uh, portrait to Australia yesterday and it only cost $5. How did it only cost $5, Chris? How? Yeah, I'd be shocked too. I don't know how that happened. Because <laughs> I've got to pay an arm and a leg to get anything sent. Or anything sent to me. Oh yes, this is lovely. These are lovely. And I know that these are affordable for people who wanted to... Um, this is definitely something that I will keep on buying if I can. The only thing is that I've found out that they're not, you can't buy these open stock. That's the only downside. But I think that they're so affordable that you could probably buy a set anyway. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, that's looking cool. Hang on. That looks too light there. So as you can see, pieces like this, it does take a while. Um, I mean, this is an A3 pastel mat. Um, you know, a 30 by 40 centimeter. It's going to take me a while to finish this. When I say a while, you know, it, I, I can't finish this in a, in a session. Um, okay. Oh, that's my portrait. Ah, okay. They shipped it as a document. Wow. Maybe that's what I should say. But, okay. Uh, not only that, uh, Brenda, poster paints can stick. When it is, okay. All right. Okay. Um... But see, this is the beauty of using masking film. Like, how good is this that I can do that? Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but um, if you haven't used masking film, totally recommend it. Totally recommend it. Absolutely. Um, Brenda says, okay, okay, okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, Robin says, I've just received the Derwent graphite and their, and their colored charcoal. Can't wait to try them I also uh, I'm also waiting for brush -o paints I ordered haven't tried them before either um, okay well that's interesting um, wow just need to sharpen this again Mind you, the sharpener that I'm using, oh, oh, the sharpener that I'm using is just a cheapie. But can I just say, I've, 
I found another sharpener and when I went looking in the art shop this is my local art shop um, I looked at it and I went oh they sell cum here anyway so I said to the lady I go you realize this is a, a cum sharpener and they go no 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 it's a black wing I go no it's cum look at this and it's probably best for color pencil not for pastel pencils but if you happen to I can't get it out but there are two blades here so for people looking for sharpeners all the time whoop, here we go they also you can also they also issue you with two blades to replace this so so there you go I just thought I'd share that one as well a cum but they call it black wing black wing but it's made by cum so and it's a long point so anyway so I just thought I'd um, mention that seeing as I've got it here um, I just wanted to find my top for this blade because it is sharp hang on I found it here we go all right so sharpener okay So has anyone decided uh, what projects or what frame of mind is everyone in for for art this year? What is on the card? <laughs> I was about to say, what's on the cards? But, you know, what is on the cards for this year for you guys with your artwork? Um, are, there, are you setting yourselves any goals or are you guys just happy to just 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 produce art as you feel like um, uh, are you are you someone that needs goals to complete things um, um, I, I don't to be honest with me I don't set myself unrealistic goals um, but I do set myself something, I do set myself a goal because it's always nice to work towards something um, even if you don't, even if it, if it does, if you don't do it but at least you, um, you know, you're working towards it which is um, a good thing. Um, Monica says it was awesome catching the stream um, it is going to look amazing just like the other ones <clears throat> and lovely to see everyone in the chat have a fantastic day and night everyone um, I need to go to sleep it's 12 30 I am here oh yes it is oh okay Monica you're in Australia then <laughs> oh um, you're in Australia probably in another state that's for sure um, coffee cat I would like to try and get out of my comfort zone a little uh, learn some new skills like concept art uh, but also want to keep drawing my comic yes oh what a wonderful thing that's lovely um, uh, bye for now Monica um, thank you so much for popping by I really appreciate your time um, yeah coffee cat yeah look yeah that's it you know it's good to get out of your coffee uh, coffee it's good to get out of your comfort zone um Co says I also want uh, I also watch her daughter oh C Cinnamon Cooney oh I know the art Sherpa isn't she fun she's such a fun lady yes I like her a lot is that her name Ginger Cook okay um did you finish your comic coffee okay mm -mm -mm -mm. to start and finish a piece on my own not from a tutorial oh well that's it you know what Barbara keep on keeping on happy painting that's all I have to say uh, Co says Chrissy I have a painting in mind hope to do a painting related to the up-and-coming Chinese New Year year of the pig oh wonderful oh that would be good um, maybe you can do it like a fantasy thing but that's just me I would probably go into the fantasy side of it
Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Hang on a sec. So much work. Oh my goodness. Look what time it is. It is one o'clock. Um, okay. I've got to run. Um, says Chris. I uh, hope all have a wonderful day and night. Thank you for the stream, Chrissy. It's beautiful already. Thank you so much. Well, actually, it's almost time for me to go. I've actually been streaming for a couple of hours. I can't believe I have. Um, I've got work the next day as well myself. Fantasy? How do you paint a fantasy pig? Believe you me, I will find a way. Uh, wow. Um, Brenda. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I tell you what. Look, I have been talking a lot, I have to say, but I have been arting, so at the same time. But I, you know what, I think I actually might keep it, I, I think I might call it a night, a day. Um, uh, Lindy says, no particular art goals, art goals other than uh, to continue to practice and get more skill with pastel pencils. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Um all right. You know what? I, you know what, folks? I just wanted to say thank you so much. I think I will call it a day, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone popping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, but you know what? I'll be doing this every Wednesday from now on. So hope to see you all again. And always, you know, um, you know, like, you know, um, you know, like on all of like my, on Will's um, live streams. Hopefully I can catch up with you all of then. Uh, Co says, Chrissy, it's not, it, <laughs> Chrissy is not done after two hours. Mm. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my, well, it has, it's been two hours, Co. It has, I've got to watch, I can see. <laughs> um, look, all right, look, I just wanted to say thank you all so much and hope to see you all, um, uh, I hope to see you all next week again. Um, but until then, uh, bye for now, everyone. Thank you so much for your company. I always love hanging out with you guys.